Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since i uh, shown any status of the barn update and stuff like that. Been doing a lot of working and not too much recording. I've already got the boy goats and one of our livestock guardian dogs moved over here. And this is their pen. I'll show it to you. This is their stall. Here I put lattice panels. I mean not lattice panel. Here I put cattle panel on the door on the sides because i didn't want the boys trying to jump out to get to the girls in the barn stall and stuff like that and also to keep the bandit you can see bandit way back over there he is a big old he's he's got great pyrenees in him but i, I look like maybe anton shepherd i don't know he's not a purebred but he is very good with the boys and right now they're at the land by themselves I come over here every morning and every evening and feed them. You can see Bo in the background behind Tank. There's John. But there's hay in here for them to lay on. And I've been working here. When they built the barn, they, they told me three to five weeks. Well, it took them four months later. Well, a lot of the pad washed away and me and my dad eyeball leveled it. We didn't 100% perfect. So I've been taking the, the hay dot blocks, cinder blocks, whatever you want to call them. And I've been putting them around the perimeter of the, the this side of the barn, which I've already got a lot of the dirt in here, but I jacked it up and put the, the barn underneath the blocks. Those are some bags of concrete that got wet and got ruined. I'm going to smash them up a little bit and just put it in here. Then I got to put dirt over top of it. But this is a girl stall. I put this side solid because a lot of wind and rain comes in from that direction and the barn's open here so I just was trying to help keep them a little dry so I enclosed it in this is going to stay open and then there's going to be a door here and the door's only going to be this tall there's not going to be no wire on it or nothing and then you can see I got rafters running they're bolted up this is going to be a hay loft up here this is where we're going to keep our hay storage right now i got a lot of lumber all this lumber that i've used has been free it's pallet wood and then there was a guy i met through youtube who has a sawmill and i've got a lot of his drops and stuff that i use to piece together this girl's area is actually going to be a 10 by 10 stall I put these up yesterday. I still got to come back and build a door, but I'm waiting on the hinges to come in. This right here is going to be a 5x10 stall. Another 5x10, another 5x10. These are going to be my birthing stall, so I'm going to have a milk milk stand in there. So I'm able to, to milk my goats when it comes time that time. The boys area here is 5x10. I come back the other day and put these little clamps on here just to keep the panel. These are three quarter inch staples that I hammered in to hold the panel in and it works really great. The boys area fenced in is 60 foot by 150 foot. It's a lot bigger than where they were where we were staying at. It gives them a lot more room. I'm uh, happy the way this is coming along. I got a bunch of lumber here. Some of it's rust saw lumber, some of it I, lumber I purchased. But I've got to build a chicken coop, finish out, the, finish out these stalls, build a chicken coop. That's why I got those landscape timbers. My dad gave me a lot of those landscape timbers right here. But that's what I'm gonna use those to put in the ground to build a chicken coop. And then I got to build a chicken tractor I got uh, meat birds coming in March. So I've got to build a chicken tractor for the meat birds. But the, the meat birds are gonna, they're gonna go in this room. This room's gonna be organized a little better by them. Right now I just, I've been throwing stuff in here, keep out of the weather, but this is gonna be the chicken broiler area and stuff. I've been coming here, there's bricks right through here. I done, my neighbor across the street's got a little tractor with a front end loader. 
you can see the dirt. He brought me a bunch of dirt from where they dug my septic at. And I've been moving the dirt in here, leveling up the, the place. Here, there's all bricks. You can see a little bit of the bricks, but there's bricks over here in the far corner. There's four layers of bricks before I put the dirt. There's two to three inches of the dirt, then the hay. So the, the goats are not actually on the bricks. When I get done here, there'll be two or three inches of dirt covering up those bricks. I've got a few more bricks in the trailer. All the bricks are free. I did that around here too. You can see the bricks at the base there, but there's bricks all the way around on, on the other side of the center blocks and stuff. And my purpose was that for if predators tried to dig in or dig under, they'll hit the bricks and then they'll quit. And the same with the concrete. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna bust those big pieces up and then you cover up with dirt. You'll never see the concrete. The goats won't be on it, but it was just, it got wet and it was no good anymore to do what I needed to do with it. You can see the landscape timbers here. That's helped support. I'm gonna put another one there and another one there and they'll help support the hay and everything. I'm not really gonna have much over here. Cause like I said, this, this stays open. When it rains and wind blows, it blows in right in there and stuff. I'm gonna have plywood over it, of course, to keep the, the water from going into the goat stall, but I'm not gonna have any hay. Most of the hay is gonna be in these center three or center two stalls. The center area here just to keep them dry keep the, the hay dry and then eventually we're going to come back and here we're going to come up like eight foot and make a crossway and ten in the back here and have another little overhead spot where we can store stuff more hay stuff like that so we're eventually going to have more goats we've got three boys and seven girls and we just put a deposit on another girl so we'll have eight girls 11 goats total bandit you can see bandit he a big boy we adopted him we rescued him whatever you want to call it he was left behind by some previous owners or something and we found him on facebook and we adopted him and he's real good with the boys he protects them now he he's not too good with a cow he likes to chase our cow so that's why he's with the boys you can see bo and willie thank you all for following along thank you all for watching this little update here i need to do more video on me working in the barn but i just been trying to get stuff done and like i said i found the free bricks all these center hay dot blocks for free all the the little Construction bricks for free. You can see on the trailer. I got quite a bit of bricks, but that trailer was piled up two or three foot tall And the whole trailer was covered with the, the house bricks And I, I've just Been trying to do a little bit here and there. We're still waiting on power You'll see a barn video before you'll see this. I Appreciate y'all following along Bonnet Oak Acres out